Sophie says, I, I am new to the page and also new to use Microsoft 365. I was wondering if someone was able to help me. I've just set up a business account, got all the way through, put in bank details, and it all went through. Then it took me to the sign-in page. Now, every time I try and log in, it says that my username and or password is incorrect. But I definitely know the password is correct. The username is being automatically put them from the autosave in my computer. Can someone please help me? Yeah, this, again, variations of this question that we've heard quite a bit. Um, in fact, I think we were talking about this with specifically around Exchange a couple days back. Um, but why is this happening? They've cached the credentials either in the browser or in the Windows credential file, one of the two, and, it, and it's bringing them up. And they can create another profile in their browser or they need to go into their Windows credential manager. And I'll put a link in the chat in the spreadsheet for that how to where to find that but if you basically press windows and type credentials it'll bring you up and show you all the credentials that are cached in windows itself not in the browser um, and that might be conflicting with what she's trying to do because i know i run into that a lot when i when i try to use edge it's it's like do you want to be this person or this person i'm like well i logged in with this profile that i want to be the person i logged in underneath and it keeps asking me dry, yeah. drives me crazy and it's because it's in the windows cache 10 years ago i would have said well have you given the servers enough time to <laughs> to uh kind of register that uh, uh that the account is new I don't think that's much of an issue anymore, but one of the first things that I do just out of habit is I immediately, when I have that issue, I go into, to make sure it's not something else going on, open up the browser incognito yeah. uh, and try to log in and use the credentials that way. If I'm still experiencing a problem, then it could be something else. Yeah. This is just a good time to remind people if you create a new account, especially a new M365 account, one, provide a backup email that is not that email. If you have a Gmail or a Hotmail or anything else, literally anything else, put in your backup email because that's always going to save you. Second of all, write things down. Don't just save them in your credentials. Don't just save them in whatever your you know browser save is. Write down exactly what email and password you use to log in, at least until you're in there the first time and everything works. And third of all, call Microsoft if you super duper get stuck. So I, I, I believe to, to save all those. OneNote has I, all my stuff. <laughs> yep, I, I have the sticky note on my monitor with all of my logins, <laughs> all of my passwords, my banking information, wow, my Christian. children's social security numbers. Blood types. Like, <laughs> Mine is are under my keyboard because nobody looks under there for them. Yeah, Mine's I know. My keyboard. <laughs> that's, that's a great idea, Sherry. Wow. <laughs> hey guys. Or the little password book that's sitting on you just as his password keeper on it yeah well, they that's can a good you know, one they can check you guys out first because i use an <laughs> encryption tool that keeps track of all of my passwords yeah so i do too so i pay for a third-party tool it's encrypted password um tracking so i do that the other thing that i do is uh, uh and of course i have my master password that is very complex good luck people with that one um to to get into that password manager but the uh the other thing is that i am really reliant on the multi-factor authentication and using you know that uh, authentication on my phone for all of those so that uh, you know you you don't have to remember those things and it's so much easier to you know to it's using my face it's using my login um uh, and it's a little bit of a hassle when you're going and getting in and out of those applications. I get that, but it's so much easier than trying to remember all the passwords mm -hmm. and the, the different profiles. And it's so much more secure. So I, I mean, yeah. I have so many accounts and I can't tell you. Um, there are definitely times when I get a notification that somebody tried to log into your account. And so, but I got the MFA on my phone. And because they did not have that piece, there was just no way for them to hack it, um, yep. which makes life, I mean, just makes me feel more secure that those things are popping up and I can be like, sorry, buddy, you can't have my stuff. Yeah. yeah. Nice try. <laughs> I just, uh, so I've got, uh, uh, you know, children that live in a different state, adult children that are, uh, you know, asking, it's like, well, I tried to change, like uh, something changed with your Disney Plus account. And like, yeah, <laughs> remember the, the operative word is my, my. 
account <laughs> yeah. for that. And he's like, I can't seem to get in. I'm like, oh, that's sad for you. He's like, well, can I reset the password? I'm like, you can attempt it and I'll reject it on my side. Like, right. no, it works for me. <laughs> Maybe you should buy your own. Uh, different problem, but yeah. <laughs> funny yeah multi-factor is great until you forget your phone or it's dead which i did i was like elsewhere forgot my phone at home and i needed to get into my stuff and it's turned on and and there's no other means like well, it doesn't say so, if you don't but, have your phone then try this there's no yes other it option. does yeah, I mean, yeah, it, some yeah there's there other are. options yeah it will tell you if you don't have access to authenticator and it says try other methods and that's when it goes back to sharon's first uh, suggestion having that other alternate email uh, and going that direction. And make sure you so. fill out the other options. Like there's questions and there's other ways to do it, but you have to yeah. go through the configuration and pick those other options. Otherwise, it won't give you those. Yeah. Well, it it was just cranky and it, I was just mad. <laughs> also, what kind of life I couldn't be I couldn't be separated from my phone. That that I don't know what that would look like. Thank you. No, I can. No, I can. My husband goes, he hates it because he's just like, you never answer your phone. I'm like, I'm busy. Yeah. I know. <laughs> I, I'm doing things. I do, yeah. Yeah. Well, there's a whole other discussion about that and family members. <laughs> and I offer to do like the smart bulb and the, in the, I'm in the basement with my office and the light down there so that like, don't bother me if it's yep. red, you know, something's going those. on. And, and then I was told, you know, like, no, don't do that. I don't want to have that obnoxious colored light in the hall or whatever, that thing that's out there. So what do I get instead is people yelling down the stairwell. And Are you busy? It's like, do, do you hear me? Can you respond? It's I'm in the middle of a call. It's great. <laughs> yeah. you know? I have one on my desk and it's red right now. And yeah, they still walk in behind me. It's a so good I have thing a, that yeah. you know you're busy, Sherry. I yeah. know. I know it's, I'm busy, but... And then... They just stand here and go, I have a question for you. I, I'm like, really? Okay, the 150 people I'm talking to, just a moment. He, this person has a question. Yeah. <laughs> this, this is the, uh, the the joys of working from home and other family members being, being home as well. Exactly.